All right, time to break down unit 10. It's the Arizona Deer Draw 2023, and unit 10 is what I'm gonna be just going over today a little bit. I want you guys to know what unit 10 is all about. I also want you to understand that there's a really cool hunt that unit 10 has. They, they offered it actually for the first time last year. And Arizona will do this from time to time is they'll offer these like hunts that it's not like widely uh, published or advertised, but they'll sneak in a rut hunt, a rifle rut hunt for a mule deer, which is does not happen. So in all these units, uh, for the most part, the, all the mule deer hunting happens during like October, November, where these deer are not rutting or, or and they're, they're kind of hard to locate for the most part. Um, but unit 10, they have a December 15th through 31st hunt, which is 100% a rut hunt with a rifle, with a rifle. Um, it is during like, that's when we bow hunt, rut bow hunt for these guys um, in unit 10, unit eight and stuff like that. But unit 10 offers this hunt, which to me, it's not the same as a strip tag. I'm not going to go that far. It's not the same as, uh, you know, a, a Kaibab rut tag. I'm, I'm not going to take it that far. But it is very, very close. And on a good rain year like we've had, it is something that I don't think you would regret applying for if you are somebody that has a lot of bonus points and potentially are in that like no man's land with the strip you're like a 15 point type of a person that is like 15 to 20 points, depending if you're a resident or non-resident. And you're like, man, I'm just never going to draw a strip tag. I'm um, like, statistically speaking, you cannot be guaranteed a strip tag for the rest of the time that your life, basically. It's a tag that you're like, hey, this is one of those things where you're like, hey, man, maybe I'll, I'll throw it in on this hunt. There is a hundred percent a chance that you can shoot a 200 inch deer in this hunt. So I, and that's not, you cannot say that for a lot of uh, units in Arizona, but for this hunt specifically, you have a couple things, unit 10, which even on the general hunt guys. So I'm just focusing on this trophy hunt just to start out because it's a really cool hunt offering that uh, they just did last year. So this hunt has some big deer. There are some big deer that live in unit 10. Um, it's a huge unit, huge uh, terrain variance. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of antelope in unit 10. There's a lot of elk in unit 10. There's basically everything in unit 10. But mule deer, there's some big mule deer and they live all over the place. I mean, there's mule deer live from the top to the bottom in unit 10. Unit 10 has been known a lot for elk, but it's a really, really good unit. Uh, for deer as well. So um, you have that going for you. So if you draw an, a general tag, guys, where it's just, hey, you're hunting November or late, late October, November, great. That's a great hunt. You, it's a great uh, tag where you can shoot a really good buck. If you do your homework, get out there early, scout, um, understand where these bucks are moving and living, you can shoot a 180 plus deer. Um, and in this December tag, you legitimately have a chance of shooting a 200 type deer um and and that's really comes down to hey the rut's going to be happening um we've had awesome rain so that's a whole nother thing too so you've got kind of a double whammy going you've got really good uh time of year combined with really good antler growth and so it is a hunt guys if you have that that those points that you're you're like uncomfortable with how many points you have and uncomfortable with the uh proposition of ever drawing an actual deer tag in arizona i would look to this hunt specifically um they don't they don't give a whole lot of tags i mean there's only a couple tags to give to non-residents and 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 you know residents to give you know whatever 20 tags so it's you're not going to be competing with a lot of people so anyway, think about that. Um, it's something to definitely do your homework um, and, and definitely talk to a couple guys um, as far as if, if you're going to do it outfitted or guided. I would definitely um, do some homework there, call around um, and, and just see what guys are saying. Um, one thing that makes it a little bit trickier is we don't have a, uh, you know, we can't use cameras. We have a camera van in Arizona. So it makes it hard for certain guides and outfitters, not everybody. But it makes our to really like 
you know, be like, hey, we are watching X this buck and this is the one you're going to shoot, which has always kind of been a little bit gray because, you know, cameras can be a little tricky. You can kind of use a picture that you, you know, got somewhere and use it for something else. I'm not saying people are doing that or have done that. I'm saying there's a possibility that people do that. Uh, I've never really been a big camera person myself. Um, use them a little bit, but never really relied on them specifically just because we do a lot of glassing um, and we locate deer kind of when where they're actually at during the rifle season. So, um, you know, in the rifle season, these bucks in unit 10 um, are, they're, they're kind of, they're not hitting water every day. They're not, you know, where you'd put a camera. They're not hitting salt anymore. They're hard horn. They're not hitting water every single day. So in the rifle season, you want to know where they're actually living. And when you, the only way to really do that is, is, uh, is glassing and kind of understanding living with them and, and being where they're at because, um, you know, knowing where they're at, especially in a shootable position is really the goal um, during rifle season. So having the right setup every day um, is, is really important. So unit 10 has a ton of topography, ton of glassing spots. Um, you know, you've got like a big rim on the western side, big cliffs that you can glass off of, tons of antelope over there. On the northern side, you've got uh, the big Boquillas Ranch, which, you know, a lot of people ask me about. It's, you, you can pay to get on and go on there and do that thing. It's no big deal. I think it's a drop in the bucket if you are actually drawing elk tag or a deer tag. I say you pay for it, get on there, uh, check it out, do some scouting. You can't drive a quad in there and you can't do a ton of preseason scouting in there um you know in the early season you can't pick up any sheds or anything like that but if, if that's not really doesn't really matter if you actually draw a deer tag or an elk tag because the whole goal is, is is finding the right animal and maybe getting away from a few more people so if getting a, a permit to get on the Bokeas ranch is gonna maybe give you a little separation from a lot of other hunters in that in that deer hunt then i would 100 percent do it and, and endorse that so um that's unit 10 basically guys i'm just trying to give you an idea um that hunt that's a december 15th through 31st hunt is a fantastic opportunity to shoot a giant deer um if i had a lot of deer points which i do not um me specifically um i i if i had 10 points plus as a resident i would draw i would try to draw that tag 100 if i had 15 points i would try to draw that tag if i had 20 plus points as a resident i would not try to draw that tag i would probably try to draw a strip tag. I'd wait to draw a strip tag because I think the statistics favor you in that case as a resident. As a non-resident, uh, I'd throw my chips in because if you got 17, 18 points, you're just not gonna draw a 13A or 13B tag, which is a strip. So anyway, that's my opinion. It may not be for everybody and there may be people that disagree with me. That is 100% awesome because it is all just on what I've observed and uh, and what you know my opinion so tell me what you think in the comments below I think it's a cool hunt I think you should blow some points on it um, and also unit 10 in general um, I think you should try to apply for it it's a great place to hunt mule deer all across the whole the whole unit um, and uh, it's a great opportunity to shoot a big deer. So good luck this season, guys. Good luck with the draw if you are hunting Unit 10. If you have drawn a Unit 10 tag uh, and you've watched, you're watching this video after this has been released, congratulations. Good luck. Hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, I got all my stuff in the description below, outfitting, guiding, scouting packages, drop camps, all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, guys, good luck. We'll talk soon.